trace of the night on the way back down from the sky where you left my soul. Can you help me fly? I can't resist, cause you have got a hold on me. And all these thoughts, when you are here, you light up the dark stars. To live in the night, shall you take my life? And light every side, you fade.
Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday morning to you. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend so far, and I hope the weather is better by you than it has been here by me. I'm in a northern suburb of Chicago. I'm sorry, no. I'm in northern Illinois in a southwest suburb of Chicago, and it has been cold and rainy all week long. For a while there, we actually forgot what the sun looked like and forgot... For a minute there, I actually thought I had moved to Seattle because it was really cold and windy. Um, the good news is the sun did come out yesterday, so we were able to enjoy it. But today, once again, it's cold and rainy. <laughs> Lucas has pointed out that, yes, Lucas, we do have some So Not an Expert merch. We've actually had it for a while. I just keep forgetting that it's there. So I actually ordered some pieces for myself so that I can show you guys what it looks like. Um, obviously here we have a two-tone colored coffee mug. Uh, it's colored on the inside and on the handle. And then there's a design in the front. I am going to change the design on this coffee mug now that I've bought one. I'm actually going to change it so the design is on both the front and the, on the sides instead of on the front. Because I feel like when you're holding a coffee mug, this is how you usually hold it. So I want the design here. So if you want one of these, hold off on ordering it just yet because I'm going to change the design on it. But this is what it looks like. Isn't it cool? It comes in a variety of different colors. This is the lime green one because, of course, this is the lime green room. So I have to have a lime green coffee mug, right? Uh, it comes in orange. It comes in blue. It comes in black. There's a bunch of different colors to choose from. So like I said, if you're interested in purchasing this, you can actually access it through my tips page. There's a link in the description box below, or you can do exclamation point tips in chat, and you can get to it there. Um, I will set up an actual like link for merch and things like that later on, but I just keep forgetting that it's there. Honestly, it's been there forever and I, you know somebody pointed it out last weekend and I'm like you know I should probably pay a little bit more attention to that so I did order myself one I am changing the design slightly so that it sits this way instead so just hang out and give me another week or so if you want if you're interested in this one and you want to order one um, otherwise looks pretty good doesn't it there's also some t-shirts and some tank tops is available as well I need to change the design on the t-shirt also <laughs> so like I said give me another week or so um we'll introduce it again next weekend hopefully it'll be a little bit better but yeah so that's uh so there's a little bit of a little bit of merch for you it's a little bit of fun and and for every purchase the channel gets a little bit of a kickback as well so it's a little bit of fun Today we're going to be working on our home sweet home project. You guys know we actually had to cancel the last uh, stream that we had for this project. Um, this one is the re is the redo for the rescheduled version of that stream. We've been working on um, these cute little houses. Let me show them to you real quick. My hands are all cold. <laughs> This is what it looks like. This is what we're going to be making. It was a Liberty Box uh, exclusive from Fat Quarter Shop a couple of years back. And I absolutely love the pattern. And I think it's just so cute and so adorable. And I'm loving the fabric as well. But you also might notice, besides there being some really cool merch, you might notice something else that I teased you guys about last week um, that's sitting on my desk right here. And that's and that's Mr. Wizard's latest and greatest Um his latest and greatest project. I told you guys a couple weeks ago that he, uh, normally he makes uh, model cars, but he decided he wanted to try and uh, kind of improve his skills, do something a little bit different for the day. And so he opted to go with an airplane. Um, this is an airplane. He, he gave me the, the stats on it. Let me, let me grab the stats on it. Let me put my cool coffee mug back over here <laughs> for just a minute. He gave me the stats on it. He says it's an F4F3 Wildcat. Um, and this one's kind of special. This one actually has some Chicago roots. So here, let me show you what it, guys what it looks like first. I'm trying to be really delicate with it because I'm, I'm sure I'm going to break it. Um, you guys can see that one there, that side there. This says F3, but his says F4, so I'm not sure what it means. Maybe you guys know. There we go. There we go. This was flown by a Medal of Honor winner. The gentleman, the pilot's name was Ed Butch O'Hare. Now that name might sound familiar to you. For those of you in the northern, uh, the northwest area, that is because the O'Hare Airport, which resides in Chicago, was actually named after this particular particular pilot. So that's pretty cool. He's he said I can hold it here to flip it over. There we go. So you can see the the wheels and the wings, all that detail work. You guys can see all those bumps. Those are all uh, little things that he's been adding. See the little wheel on the bottom there? Okay. So, this is his latest and greatest. He actually bought a special case for it. Um, so, he's going to be displaying that. We haven't quite figured out where we're going to put the case yet because our house is so tiny. 
<laughs> but we're going to find somewhere to put it. So thank you, Mr. Wizard, for allowing me to uh, share that with you guys. I'm so proud of him and all of his efforts. He does a fantastic job. Look at all these de details. So cool. All the little stickers. I, supposedly there's a pilot, too, but I don't know where the pilot's at. I don't think he's finished with the pilot yet. But and the landing gear. Really cool. So let me go ahead and set this up here so I don't hurt it. Get it out of the way for now. Set you up there for now. All right. Let me hop into chat, say hello to everybody in chat, and then we will get started with our home sweet home project. Um, I do know that this chat kind of rolled over from the last time the, the stream was rescheduled. So Brat46 was the pers first person in chat, and I always give a special shout out to them. So... Hello, Brett. Good morning. I hope you're still with us. I think you were. It was. this was probably from the last time, but that's all right. Good morning to you anyway. Thank you so much for joining us. Teresa Lynch is here. Hi, Teresa. Thanks so much for joining us. Linda Denton is here as well. So is Judy. Good morning. Uh, la, 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 la. Hi, Terry. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucas is in the house. I know he's probably only temporarily in the house, though. He is traveling again today. He went down to uh, Southern Illinois to visit with Tony, my daughter, Tony. So I'm sure he'll be on his way back here shortly. I'll see him later today. He's going to pop over and we're going to talk about some project stuff. Let's see, trying to see if I can see anybody else here. Naomi, good morning. My goodness, girl, it has been so long since I've seen you. Hello, good morning. I hope you are well. Thank you for joining us this morning. Happy Saturday, Sunday morning to you. Uh, Greenland Kate, Coulter Katie, good morning, Katie. Gosh, it has been forever since I've seen you. I've been following all of you, of uh, your adventures. I know you're back at home, so that's great to see. I've been following all of her adventures. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to her channel. You can do exclamation point Katie in chat. That's K-A-T-Y in chat. Um, and you can follow her. She is the Greenland Quilter. She does a lot of really cool stuff on her channel. Not only does she show off quilt stuff, but she shows off a lot of stuff like um, the Northern Lights and, and all kinds of really cool stuff that have to do with Greenland. So it's really cool to, to follow her. And Judy says, the weather better get better here. I'm heading to Illinois next week. You are, Judy. Where are you headed? Where in Illinois are you going to be at? Welcome. <laughs> if you're going to be up anywhere north of us, uh, maybe we should uh, see if we can see how close you are. We can meet you somewhere. La, la, la. Hi, Katie. Good morning. Gosh, it's been forever since I've seen you. Good morning, Katie. I hope you are well. That's K-D-K-A-Y-D-E-E -E of KD Crafts. Good morning. I hope you're good. I haven't seen you in forever, it feels like. Sorry, just scrolling through chat. Make sure I don't miss anybody. Lots of footage to edit and upload. Oh, the editing. It makes me crazy. The editing makes me insane. I know. She's going to be in the Clifton and Wat Watsetka area. I'm sorry to say I'm not familiar with that area. You know, Illinois is a very long state. Um, and I'm all the way up the top, top, up in the top section there. Um, so that'll be exciting. Then. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Sandra. Good morning. Sandra says hello all. Good morning, Sandra. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. Gladys, I think I said good morning to you, but if not, good morning. I feel like maybe I might have skipped you over, and I apologize for that. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us, folks. Uh, somebody says good morning to Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Good morning. I don't see your message in here, but I'm sure you're here, so good morning. <laughs> I hope you're well. Oh, near Kankakee. Okay. That's not too far. Kankakee's not too far. It's about an hour, hour and a half drive from where I'm at. All right. Well, today, well, we're going to get, I think I've got through everybody in chat. If I miss you, please make sure you tag me in chat to say hello. I know Lucas is in chat currently, but I know he's going to be traveling here in a little bit. So um, if you need something, I will try and help you out as best I can. I can't give you any thimbles, unfortunately. That only he can do that. Well, I can. I just can't do it while I'm live. Um, he usually takes care of that for me. Uh, one other thing to quickly mention before we get started. Ne this coming Saturday, the, what is that, the 13th? What? 
Yes, the 13th. The 13th, Saturday, Saturday the 13th is going to be our next uh, After Dark edition. Um, we're going to be working on Clue 3. Hopefully mine comes in the mail because I'm starting to get a little worried. It hasn't shown up yet. Um, but we're going to be working on Clue 3 of our Cotton Cuts uh, Puzzle Mystery Quilt Tree of Life. And we're going to be celebrating some things. Um, I told you guys a couple weeks ago, Mom and Cheryl both have birthdays in April. So we're going to be celebrating their birthdays because they're right around the same time of, as our live stream. So we're going to be celebrating those. We're going to have lots of fun. If you guys have not caught a live stream, a Saturday After Dark edition of your live stream, you're going to want to catch this one. I can't tell you exactly why yet. But I can tell you that there are gonna, there's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of shenanigans. And, you know, when you think of birthdays, what do, you, what do you guys usually think of when you think of birthdays? I mean, besides cake, besides candles, you know, there's, there's something else that kind of goes, usually goes along with birthdays. And we're going to be doing a lot of that on Saturday. I'm not going to say out loud what it is yet. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. But if you're on our Facebook or our Instagram, you'll be able to figure out what that is here in the next week. Because I'm going to be promoing, promoing it some more. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, and they are hilarious. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are, yes. Um, Mom and, uh, Mama Joyce and Sherlock Cheryl, their birthdays are coming up. So we're going to be celebrating those. And we've got some fun things planned. I've got some stuff planned. And they've got, I'm sure, some more stuff planned. Because you just never know what they're going to get into. So it's going to be a lot good time. Make sure you mark it on your calendar. 6.30 p.m. Central Time this coming Saturday. Uh, we are going to have so much fun. Usually the stream lasts about two hours. It all depends on how long it takes us to get the clue done. So if you are a PMQer, make sure you join us for that as well. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Luke says party. What? Party? <laughs> Lucas, you know, you're always invited. All right. Teresa says they are hilarious. They are hilarious. They really are. They're, they're a lot of fun. Uh, I got to spend the entire week. Uh, the birthday week with my girls, I got to spend that with Cheryl. That was a lot of fun. Hi, Patty. Good morning. Patty says, just got here. How's Danny today? Patty, I am doing very well. Thank you for asking. I've had a little bit of some allergy things going on, but this rain keeps kicking it back down. So it's like it rains, it gets cold, my back is killing me. But then I'm able to breathe, but then it stops raining and the, the you know, the flowers and stuff start blooming again and then I can't breathe again. So it's been, it's been this up and down thing with my allergies for like the last two weeks. It's really annoying. But thank you so much for asking me that. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Kelly says, I'm going to miss everybody's live next weekend. We are on a road trip to visit relatives. We're leaving late morning on Friday the 12th. No worries, Kelly. You can always pick a, catch us on the, um catch us on a replay but you're gonna miss a busy one on saturday unfortunately for you uh but make sure you catch the replay it's gonna be a lot of fun linda wants to know how was my easter my easter was very well linda thank you for asking it's just me and mr wizard all of our kids are away at college so uh we, i made a pan i still made a 10 pound ham <laughs> for mr wizard and i we have a lot of free in the freezer i promise you we did not eat a 10 pound ham I, I cooked it but we did not eat a 10 pound ham i promise you it's in the freezer i put it in multiple little bags and so i've been taking that out and throwing it in other things um we had some with eggs this morning uh we had some i'm um, gonna throw some in a stir fry in a couple of weeks so things like that so we, we do have it we just put it in the freezer but otherwise we had a great time mr wizard and i just kind of hung out we uh watched a, a new movie we watched the roadhouse movie the remake roadhouse on prime if you haven't seen it it's not bad it's not bad i mean obviously it's not the original but it wasn't bad um another one that we watched for easter was wonka if you guys haven't seen that one i think it's on hbo right now really good movie again not as great as the original but still a good movie i enjoyed it uh, i thought we both enjoyed it All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our home sweet home project. I'm taking my glasses off. So the, the problem with taking the glasses off is it makes it easier for me to see the project here, but it does make it more difficult for me to read your comments. So if, if, you're, if it's something super important, make sure you tag me in it. Lucas said he's not traveling yet, so he can still answer questions if you need, but I'm gonna try my best to keep up with chat as best as I can. We are going to be working on the stars for our home, houses. So I showed you guys this project before. This is the, the pattern that we're working on. We're going to be working on these little stars here. That's what we're going to be working on. So what I did before, after our last session is I went ahead and I trimmed up all of our um, hourglass blocks that we made. 
I went ahead and trimmed all those up so that they are the finished size that we needed. And then I've bundled them up by type because we need to keep the types together in order to make this pattern look well. So I needed to keep all of these same ones together. So I went ahead and bundled them up. And then we have our pieces, our G pieces and our D pieces, which we're gonna be putting together. Now we have to be careful with this. We've got to make sure that we put the fabrics together. Otherwise it's not gonna have the exact same, the right look that we want it to. It's hard for you guys to see in this picture, but you can see all the fabric is the same in the stars. Again, it's really hard for you guys to see on the screen here, but I promise you that's how it's looking. So that's what we are going to be working on today. Grab my coffee mug again. Actually, I think I'm gonna move this up a little bit closer so I don't have to reach it quite so much. We don't have any really big pieces that we're working with today. So I'm just gonna use the smaller ones today. right there you guys can see it it's so much fun all right how was everybody else's easter um i know a couple of people were cooking last because we did have a live stream for easter sunday and i know a couple of people were cooking uh i hopefully those went well <laughs> hopefully there were no injuries or or oopses involved um so hopefully things went really well for you for each of these stars we're going to need four pieces so i'm going to make sure that i have one two, three, four. I can't count and talk at the same time, guys, sorry. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's four of those. And then we need one of these, one of the G pieces for the matching fabric. So I'm gonna actually need three of the star pattern. Because this is the center. And then we need four of each of these in the matching pattern here. Now, i got to find it. It is over here. And I need four for each. So that's going to be a little tricky. Let's see. Hopefully we've got them. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Greenlee Quilter says, we ate with my brother. Oops, hold on, sorry. She's talking about Easter. Hi, Jean, good morning. She says, we ate with my brother and his wife at Longhorn Restaurant. It had been a long time since I'd seen my brother on his birthday. It's funny, we both had birthdays that sometimes fall on Easter. So does, um, it depends on when Easter falls. Like Easter's, I always remember Easter being in April. I don't know why. But Easter usually falls on uh, Sherlock Cheryl's birthday. So she often celebrates it on Easter. My mom's birthday is later in April. So I haven't, I don't know that it's ever fallen on her birthday, but I guess it's possible. Jean, hon, you're going to have to watch. You had asked me, she says, good afternoon. And those in chat. Yes, of course. You're going to have to watch the replay. Um, I showed, it, I mean, you guys can't see. Oh, no, you can't even see it on the camera anymore. But I uh, at the beginning of the stream, I show, was showing off an airplane that Mr. Wizard made for us. It was the F4F3 uh, Wildcat. I'm hoping you know what that means. It was flown by the Medal of Honor winner, Ed Butch O'Hare, and that's who O'Hare, the O'Hare Airport is named after. Um, I know you had mentioned that uh, you were in the military and you were interested in seeing the airplane. So make sure you watch the replay later so you can see what that looks like. She says, I will be sure and do that, Danny. Oh, thank you very much, Jean. And, and Jean, I was also telling everybody to make sure that they catch our Saturday stream next week, our um, After Dark Edition. There's going to be a lot of fun happening there. And, you know, it's a birthday celebration. So there's something that goes along with birthdays that we're going to be doing a lot of. And that's the only clue I can give you guys for right now. Uh, but if you're in our Facebook or our Instagram, you're going to know what that is here soon enough because I'm going to be start starting to promo that here in another couple of days. Betty says, hi, Ruby. <laughs> love that. Love that. That's so cute. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Jean says, those are always fun and need to supply you know what beforehand. LOL. <laughs> I think I think I know what she means. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this project. We are working on the stars for our home sweet home project. I've got the pieces all kind of piled up but not actually laid out here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make our rows. So the first row is going to be two solid pieces of our dark blue fabric. Let me set these off to the side here. And one of our hourglasses. Just like that. And then the next row is two hourglasses. Turned like this with our solid white fabric in the middle. Can you guys see me laying this out here? I could probably turn the zoom camera on if I wanted to. It was working this morning, which is nice. Um, I'm sure when I try to use it, though, it would stop working because, you know, that's usually how things roll on this on this channel. That is how that's going to look. It's a little busy. Not so sure I like those fabrics together. They're a little bit busy, but that's all right. Uh, oh, it actually looks better on the camera than it's <laughs> here. I looked up, I looked at the camera like, oh, yeah, you can actually see it there. Uh, here, uh, looking at it here in person, you really can't tell it too much. So we're going to go ahead and assemble these up together. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and flip these all over like this. Actually, no, I like to go the other way. Lucas, thank you for that. There we go. Oh, it's happening here. There's my pedal moved. I don't know who's been in here. I swear, things have gotten moved in here. Nobody else is really ever in here, but for some reason, everything seems to have gotten moved today. I came in here and there were things everywhere. I don't know what happened. Okay, so... That didn't work out very well. Dee says, ooh, I love it. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. I really like this pattern. I love the little houses. They're just so cute. I'm really happy for the little houses. Okay, so we're going to flip this over and do this the other way because my machine didn't like that bulk there. So I'm going to do it this way instead. Hopefully that works a little bit better. There's that one. And here's this one. And then here's this one. There we go. Now, I'm going to do these one block at a time because otherwise I have a tendency to, like, get really confused with things and trying to figure out how they're supposed to go. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do these one at a time. Just to make sure that everything lays out the way it's supposed to. Let's get the rows sewn up together and then we will go ahead and give them a press so that we can get them assembled. Sheen is just like not happy today. There we go. Grab this one now. piece to get the two rows together these are probably going to go together pretty quickly um it just does it does take a little bit of concentration um because there's a lot of seams with the hourglasses pieces so i'm just trying to focus on those a little bit make sure that i'm not jamming anything up too far in the machine 
My machine is not big on bulk. Doesn't like it. Does not like it. <laughs> it's a good plan, Danny. Good plan. <laughs> yeah, you know, every once in a while I have one. Just not all the time, though. Sometimes I, for the most part, I just have to pull Jack out and figure it out as I go. <laughs> all right, so I think the two top rows, I'm going to go ahead and press those towards the outside. And then the bottom row, or away from the center. And then the bottom row, I'm going to go ahead and press that one towards the center. Trying to get some of that bulk organized. Need to turn my iron on so that I can get those all push um, ironed up. And then we're going to put those all together. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. She says, well, hello. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> good morning, Tracy. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. How big do each of the house blocks turn now? That is an excellent question. The house block itself turns out to be a 13 and a half by 15 and a half. This block here, the little star, turns out to be eight by eight. So we have the star, and then we're gonna have some stripes that go next to it, and then we, you guys remember, um, <coughs> excuse me, a few weeks back we made the roofs. The woofs. We made the woofs. <laughs> Sorry. This is the roof. That's the roof. So this is the final uh, width of the, of the um, block. So they're pretty big blocks. I mean, you could probably scale them down if you wanted to, but finished block says 13 and a half by 15 and a half. And then we're going to be adding some sashing to it as well. Um, the sashing is, hold please, three and a half inches wide. The sashing is three and a half inches wide. So it's a pretty decent size quilt. It's going to finish at 57 by 67. She says, uh, Tracy says she can't stay, but she saw me ball searching for some info. Have a great day, everybody. No problem, Tracy. We appreciate you stopping in and saying hello. No problem at all. I'm just waiting for the iron to get warm. Looks like it's warm now. Uh, Tra Terry, this is going to be um, an entire quilt, but each block, I mean, there's, there's multiple blocks. So here, let me show it to you guys again. It's three blocks wide by three blocks down. That's the entire quilt. That's what it's gonna look like. Really great questions, really great questions. Thank you. All right, so there's that one. My iron has a little bit of a scent to it, which usually means that I've got some, uh, excuse me, some starch left on it, but I don't see anything. So. But I'm just going to do these one at a time because otherwise, like I said, I have a tendency to get confused. And, you know, if you are super organized and don't have nearly the amount of distractions that I do, then you could probably put these all together at one time. Um, I just, I'm not, I'm not that organized. <laughs> Not that organized. Uh, so that's how I'm going to do it. All right. Let's go ahead and get these sewn up together. Matching those seams. Take this seam, match that one up. Oh, no 
problem, Terry. I'm happy to show it to you again. Terry says, she, I was in the car. She says, I was in the car when you showed it. So she couldn't see it right away. Well, I appreciate you joining us from the car. I hope you weren't driving when you were joining us. But I do appreciate you joining us. All right. Put this last row on, and then this piece of the block will be done. Of course, we have way more to do. We have 12 more to make, I think. Come on. There we go. I'm having a heck of a time getting my machine to grab that lately. I'm starting to think that I need to really bring my machine in for some maintenance. I don't think that there's necessarily anything wrong with it, per se. Hold on. But I've noticed, I mean, she's always kind of struggled a little bit with bulk uh, ever since I got her, but she seems to be struggling with it more and more. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe the teeth on, hold on, the teeth on the um, feed dogs are um, wearing down. Because that does happen over time. Usually, it takes a long time for it to happen, but it can happen. Um, I do try to keep it as clean as I can, and you guys have seen me. I've maintained it as much as I can, but sometimes things just happen. Now, this, this shows that we need to press the fabric towards the outside of both. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Like to give it a finger press first just to kind of get it to lay down and then I give it a nice hard press. Mr. Wizard, if you are watching and if you wouldn't mind bringing me the Lime Green spray bottle that's on the counter in the kitchen, I would appreciate it. If not, I can live without it. The Lime Green spray bottle is just a water, a spray water bottle um, that will help me kind of get these seams to lay a little bit flatter, I think. Do I have a, Judy wants to know, do I have a second machine? Well, you silly little girl. <laughs> of course I do. Of course I have a second machine. In fact, I have a third machine and a fourth machine. <laughs> uh, my secondary machine is a, a, my backup machine is not as, as advanced as this one is, but it, it works just as well. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking I need to bring this one in for some maintenance and pull out my secondary machine for a little while. Um, and see if I can get that to work there. I also need to buy a bigger clapper. No. Isn't that what this is called? Clapper? I need to buy a bigger one. I want a nice square one for these bigger pieces. But yes, I do have a secondary machine. Um, it's it's You guys can't see it, but there's a, a table and it's over there. Um, I've been using that as my retreat machine because it does it, it does travel better than this one does. Plus, this one is my more expensive machine, so I, I try not to uh, do too much with this one uh, or, you know, move this around to this one around too much. But yes, I do have a secondary machine. A quilter doesn't have a secondary machine. <laughs> well, I guess there's some out there. There probably are a few. All right. So this is what the star block looks like. See, it looks so much better on the camera. The further back you go with it, the better you can see it. Because the fabrics are pretty busy, but the further back you go on it, you can definitely see that it is a star. So that works. We need to make 12 more. <laughs> so, so we better get started. <laughs> Alrighty. So again, we've got the four blocks this way. We've got one that goes in the center, and then we've got this one that goes that way, and these two to go this way, and that one that goes that way. Sweet. Not sure if Mr. Wizard is watching or not. If not, that's okay. Sometimes he watches, sometimes he doesn't. 
not that big of a deal. I saw it on the counter this morning. I meant to grab it and bring it in here, and I don't think that I did. At least I don't see it in here. So. Naomi says, at one point I had nine machines. I've reduced it to three sewing machines and two sergers. See, there you go. Lucas says, driving now, but I'll be around if you need me. No problem, Lucas is traveling. He went down and surprised Tony with a visit. Oh, he did hear me. Thank you. There's Mr. Wizard. <laughs> the, the man behind the door. <laughs> That's why we call him Mr. Wizard. It's a Wizard of Oz reference for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Katie says, I have one machine and I'm sure I sure do wish I had a second one for backup. <laughs> this is the most advanced of all of the machines that I own. The other machines I own are very basic machines. In fact, the most basic version has actually been um borrowed by Susie. You guys, I'm not sure if you if you've been following the channel for a while, then you may have remember a young lady named Susie. She uh she visited us once. She's a student of mine. She, I've been teaching her how to garment sew. She has actually borrowed my most basic of sewing machines for her um lessons and such. I told her not to not to waste her mind, money on buying a machine if she decided this wasn't really something she wanted to do because at the time she wasn't really sure. Um, so I told her she could borrow my basic one until she decided to buy her own. All of my machines are Brothers or a brand of Brother because, you know, the Baby Lock is a brand of the Brother machinery. Machines. I just like their their brand. I mean, there's nothing wrong with any of the other brands out there. Some of them are fantastic brands. And maybe someday I will own another brand. I'm actually thinking about a Juki. Um, and there's nothing wrong with any of them, really. They're all... They all do some things very well and some things not so well. You know, just like it's just like a car, basically. It's, it's the same thing. It's... Some of them, some some uh, car manufacturers do things very well and others don't. You know, it just depends on the manufacturer. There we go. There we go. All depends on the manufacturer and what you're trying to get out of it. My daughter, Tony, has a singer. Nothing wrong with the Singer brand. That's one of the original sewing machine brands. There is nothing wrong with that. I've had a Kenmore before. Um, I got a Kenmore from my grandma when she passed away. I inherited it from her. I think I also have... I'm trying to remember what the brand name of the one in the, my mom's basement is. Part of me thinks that that one is also a Kenmore, but I haven't pulled that one out. That one actually doesn't work. Um, it needs to be, uh, I need to bring it in and have it maintenanced or sell it, one of the two. Um, but that one actually I was, I was gifted that one and it worked for a little bit and then it stopped working. Um, I just, I can't get it to sew the line straight. So I think the, um, I think something is off on it. Um, cause it, it just won't sew the lines straight anymore. And it, it's not user error either. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the machine. <laughs> Judy says, I love my Juki. I have a genome, three featherweights, and three brothers. My goodness. All of mine are brothers. Well, I shouldn't say that. Um, I have three brothers. 
three brothers, uh, one Kenmore, and then I, I think the other one's a Kenmore. I really, it's either Kenmore or Singer. I'm just not sure. It's been a really long time since I've looked at it. I should probably go look at it next time I'm at my mom's house. Wow, Naomi, that is fantastic. This is that's actually where I got this one. I got my baby lock on eBay. Um, it, it's worth a lot more money than I paid for it, that's for sure. But I that not nearly that much. Bob, she says, I found a machine worth twenty five hundred dollars for three hundred dollars. A genome memory craft sixty seven hundred P. She says she loves it. That is fantastic. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Mine isn't quite worth that much. This one is a Baby Lock Quilter's Choice. Um, it's not your top of the line Baby Lock, but it does everything I needed it. I wanted it to do. I didn't want an embroidery machine because I don't really do any embroidery work. Um, every once in a while, I kind of wish I could do some embroidery work, but for the most part, I don't really need it. Part of me thinks it would be neat to be able to make some so not an expert labels <laughs> on an embroidery machine. But for the most part, um, I uh, this is what I, 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 for the most part, this does everything I need it to do. So I didn't really need a, an embroidery machine. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy. I missed your message about you having eight machines, two surgers, and a long arm. My goodness. <laughs> Naomi says, hi, Mr. Wizard and the fur babies. Yes, you must have been able to hear them barking. <laughs> yeah, my fur babies. They were barking. Uh-oh. I sewed this one up wrong. Uh-oh. Gonna have to bring Mr. the divorce lawyer out. Let me uh, just iron up that seam there. Get that nice and flat again. I think at this one I'm gonna have to bring out the divorce lawyer. I set up this one piece wrong. This is what happens when you're not paying attention. It's okay though. Naomi says, embroidery machines are expensive to get serviced where I live. Oh, my. Yeah. I'm glad to, I didn't even think about that, but you're right. I mean, it, they're really cool. They're really neat, but I just don't have enough of a need for one. They're neat. They're really cool, but I just don't really have any need for it. Feel like good. Nope. There we go. There we go. All right. Let me check this one again. I needed to flip that over. There we go. This one will do some designs. Obviously, it doesn't do multicolor or um, embroidery designs, but it does have some pre-programmed functionality into it for, for stitching. Like, I can do letters. I can do numbers. Um, there's a couple of, like, I can do, like, little hearts and tree vines and things like that. So, I mean, there's there's it does some things, and that's really all I needed with regards to it. Um, I didn't want anything super fancy. Did I do it again? Yeah, I did this again. One of these days, I will figure out what the heck I'm doing here, guys. I must keep spinning it. Are you, are you guys watching me do this? Am I spinning it when I... What am I doing? Now I can't get it apart. Go figure. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? You've had to take it apart two, three times before you figure out which way it's supposed to go? Yeah, well, you know, 
At least it's on like one of the first blocks and not, you know, way bit way down the west. See, I ripped the corner on this one piece and I think that that's kind of what threw me off as I was paying more attention to to that than I was to anything else and I think I keep spinning it. I just need to keep the pieces together and sew the other corner instead. <laughs> so let me just uh, pull these apart real quick. There we go. One more. I'm having trouble seeing today. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the the weather, my allergies are affecting my eyes or what, but my eyes are just, and I have brand new, you know, glass pres glasses prescriptions and everything else. It's just like, why can't I see today? <laughs> what is going on? So I just sewed up the wrong side. I must have spun it somehow. We're going to triple check, make sure we're sewing it right this time. Hi June, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's been forever since I've seen you. I hope you are well. We are working on our home sweet home project. We are making the cute little star pieces of the houses today. If I can get them correctly. <laughs> there we go. That's what we wanted. I can hear the wind outside. It has been so cold and rainy and windy. My goodness. Um, it is really, you know, Chicago has really earned its name this week, the Windy City. It is just, whew, it's been super windy. Naomi says, I am joining you at the moment with the seam ripper. Well, Naomi, I am sorry to hear that. It's never a club anyone wants to be joining. <laughs> June says, I'm doing much better. Thank you, June. I'm glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. Taking a sip from my very, my hot off the presses, uh, new coffee mug. I mentioned it earlier in the stream, but the channel does have merch available. It's just not something I've really thought about, honestly. Um, and somebody reminded me about it last weekend. So I took a look at what merch was available and I made some changes to some stuff. And I'm going to make some changes to this particular coffee mug today after the stream. So if you're interested in getting one of these coffee mugs, hang out and wait till tomorrow to order it. Because I'm going to make some changes to it. Right now, the design is right in the center, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but I would have preferred it to be on either side, and I think I can fix that. So I'm going to try and fix that up. We also have some t-shirts available if you're interested. Um, some tank tops. I think there's a um, water bottle, a reusable water bottle available. I'll be adding more. Um, as time goes on so if you're interested you can obviously there is no it's not a requirement to purchase anything but some people have asked for it Mr. Wizard brought me my water bottle. Thank you to him. I can get these to lay a little bit flatter, I think. I do not put steam in my irons. It's just a personal preference if you put steam in yours. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I have really, I, I mean, I, I just don't like to, to do it. I, I've never had really good luck with putting um, steam in, or liquids in my irons. They always end up leaking and dripping everywhere, and I just, 
I just haven't had any very good luck with it. So I don't do it. It's just a personal preference. There's nothing wrong with it if you do. Instead, I use a spray bottle. There we go, it's a mist. I just use a spray bottle and just give it one spritz of water. And then that kind of acts as my steam. Seems to help a lot better. There we go. Now I can hear it. You may remember when we prepped these fabrics, they were all starched initially. So the starch also helps. That's on there helps as well. Um, but I like to use that. That's also why I like to use the water now instead of more starch because I don't want to keep adding starch and starch and starch to it. So. Hi, Melissa. Welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for joining us today. Happy Sunday morning to you. I hope you are well. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. We are working on our home sweet home project. The well, last time we tried to work on this project, unfortunately, I had to um, cancel the stream. I had something come up, so I wasn't able to uh, finish it out. So this is the rescheduled stream of that Melissa says hello I'm glad I caught some of your live oh honey you got some time we got uh, this one actually runs a little bit late today we started a little bit late today because it's the first Sunday of the month um, Normally we start at 10.30 a.m. Central Time and we go till 12.30, but today we started at 11 and we will go till 1. You got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I think I mentioned it before, but if anyone is interested in any of the merch that I've shown off today, which really is just the coffee mug that I've shown off. I have some other stuff, but I just haven't shown it off to you yet. You would do exclamation point tips in chat. That's T-I-P-S. And on the tips page, there's a button there that says merch. You can follow it there. I will get a separate link set up for that here shortly. If I don't have it already, I have to look. And um, it's also in the description. So if you're watching this after the fact... Um, as a replay, you can catch it in the description all the way down at the bottom of every one of my videos is a link for it. Tip, tips are never, ever, ever required, but always appreciated. Um, every dollar that is earned on the channel goes right back into the channel. That is the way I do things. I don't usually mention it too often um, just because I, I don't want anyone to think that that's the purpose of this channel because it is not. The purpose of this channel is to hang out and make new friends, hang out with and make new friends. And you know, if we make something cool in the process, that works too. <laughs> it is never to make money. But let's face it, money does make the world go round, right? Right. We are just hanging out today. It is going to be, a, uh, Mr. Wizard checked this morning, it's going to be a cold and rainy day today. So this is probably where I'm going to spend the majority of my Sunday. Is right here inside this room. Brad 46, not turning out to be a good day. First, YouTube sends me a notification that this stream was canceled. Then it kicked me out. I've been spending time to figure out where I would had written down passwords. Oh boy, Brad, I'm so sorry to hear that. The, the stream was canceled the last time, but then I rescheduled it. So I'm not sure what happened there. 
but I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad you found your way, though. We're really happy you're here. <laughs> Greenland Colder says, man, I'm such a loser with these games. LOL, I lost all of it today. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, sorry to hear that, um, Katie. If Lucas was online, which unfortunately he's traveling right now, but if he was online, he'd give you your thimbles back. You can come back uh, next. You can come back on Saturday and he can get them for you if you've lost them. Or just kind of hang out with us for a few minutes and you'll earn some more. Uh, usually, I think it's 25 thimbles every five minutes and then an extra two thimbles for every chat so don't spam the chat <laughs> but uh you can uh you can earn those earn some more to play with i'm gonna iron these first before i try and gotta iron them up before i try to uh them to do something. So, what is everybody working on this week? Uh, last weekend, after Easter Sunday, while the ham was in the oven. I came back in here and I was able to finish one of our two t-shirt table runners. I don't know if you guys remember those. We started those on the channel here and then I kind of, I'm finishing them up off camera. I'll probably show you guys what those look like when they're done. I've got one of them finished. The second one I'm a little worried about because, I mean, I've got it all quilted. I just need to do the um, binding on it. But I'm worried because I'm afraid that I might be like this much short for binding. <laughs> I'm afraid that I'm like this much short. So hopefully it works out. <laughs> I did not I did not measure. I really need to measure. Uh, a part of me is afraid to measure. And I, I think I'm just going to start sewing it. And whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I have found every a scrap piece of that particular fabric that I could find um, to hopefully get me through but, but we'll have to wait and see how if it actually works out or not uh, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be down to the wire for sure for sure that's what I did last weekend. I really have not been in the quilting room at all this weekend, except for today, just now. Um, I had plans to come in here yesterday, and it just didn't really pan out. I don't know. I think we need an extra day in the weekend. I think, I think a work week should only be four days, and then the weekend should be three days. I, I think that's how it should work. How do we make that happen? Anybody know? <laughs> Katie says she's got to get her sewing station back set up so she can start running lives. Yeah, I know you were under construction there for a little bit. I hope everything went well with the construction and you're all set up and ready to go. Uh, Linda says, my machine is getting a spa vacation till end of the week. I sure do miss it. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. I think, I really think I need to bring mine in, honestly. June says, making nine patches that are yellow and white in houses made out of, yellow and white in houses made out of scraps. Oh, really cute. Sorry, my glasses are not. Uh, Naomi says, I'm working on adding darts to a top I made that look too boy, boy -y. Oh, too boxy, too boxy. Wow, I should probably put my glasses on. <laughs> and Green Lincoln says, then I have two quilts to bind. 
Well, that is really exciting. Katie, do you do all your, your own free motion quilting or do you send it off to a long arm? Or do you do it yourself? I'm just curious. I know what your setup is, so I'm just curious if you do it all on your on your own machine or Sewing room is not fixed yet. I broken. I broke down things in the living room so that our house guest sitter could use the sofa. So now I have to rehook everything up. Oh, I got you. Okay. Uh, Brat forty six is talking about when I was telling him about changing the when I was saying about changing the day. She said some. Some places do that, but they have to work 10-hour days. Um, that was her schedule when she worked for the group homes. June says, I like your blocks. Oh, thank you. Katie says, uh, those two quilts that had the free motion quilting were done by a long arm at a friend's house in Georgia. Ah, uh, Okay. Brad says I also had three work day three work day weeks consisting of two 16 hour days and one eight hour day. Wow, that's a lot. Thank you very much for the blocks. This is a part of thank you very much for the comment about the blocks. This is a part of the block. The blocks are pretty big. I think we said 13 by 15 is the size of the finished block. They're cute little houses. I'll show them to you in just a second here. Let me just press this one down. Here's my spray bottle again. Well, I tell you, I could really go for an extra day. I mean, as it is, my work week is, I call it, it's not my 9 to 5. It's my 7 my seven to 6. Because that's how long I'm away from my house. I'm about a 45-minute drive to my office every day. Uh, there and back. So I'm, I'm away from my house from about 7 to 6 every day. Here is the pattern we're working on. I can show you what it looks like. You can see the cute little stars are just the bottom part of the house. That's what it looks like. Oh, my finger's in the way. The, we're working on this little star block here. We're going to put the stripes together, and then we've already made the roofs. Uh, we made those earlier on. I think that was in episode four, five, maybe. Made those. Now we're putting these together. All right, so we were done with those three in that particular color style. So now we're going to grab another color style and go through those. We need four of each kind. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're going to be able to make two of these. So now we're going to need one of each of these in this style. I think I made too many of these. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Ooh. Get back here. And then I need four of each of these kinds. Here, so one, two, three, four. One. Come on. My fingers don't want to work today. Two. Three, four. There we go. All right. June says, awesome pattern. Yeah, I really love it. It was a uh, Liberty box, box exclusive pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. It was a couple of years ago. I want to say it was like, 
Let's see if I can flip them here. It says 22. So two years ago. From two years ago. I really loved it. I love the cute little houses. They're so adorable. Um, the only thing I'm not super thrilled about with the Fat Quarter Shop, like the Liberty Box, the Jingle Boxes, uh, just their box projects, is they don't give you all of the fabric. They give you most of it. They give you the pre-cut stuff, but then you still have to go back and buy yardage to go along with it, which is kind of annoying to me. I'd much rather ha pay a little bit more for the box and get everything I need, as opposed to having to now go back and make sure and see if I can get the fabric, you know, um, that I need for it. Because sometimes by the time you go to buy the rest of the fabric, it's already sold out. So that's, to me, that's kind of annoying. And and that's kind of one of the reasons why I actually stopped buying the fat quarter shop boxes because I it just got, it kind of got annoyed with the fact that I had to keep buying the extra fabric to go along with it. I would much rather have a box where everything was included. Um, I have not bought any project boxes in a while because I just have so many projects going on right now um, that it just, it just didn't make sense for me to be buying more boxes for it to just sit in a bin somewhere. So I haven't bought any in a while. This one I see a little bit easier, I think, because the fa the fabric pieces are not quite so so busy. Probably should have done a little bit of a better job of picking out what fabrics went with what. But, you know, that's okay. Thank you, Katie. Katie says your quilt's going to be very cool looking. Thank you. I think so. I think it's gonna look nice we'll get there eventually always takes a little bit of time for those of you who are new to the channel or have never watched a live stream before each of our live streams is dedicated to a specific project um, and we work on that project from start to finish not on a single live stream obviously um, but then I have playlists set up on the channel so if you wanted to watch them from start to finish you absolutely could um, I like to kind of rotate things around quite a bit because I don't like to work on the same thing all the time. I get very bored very quickly with things. So I often have a lot of projects going at one time. I finish them all. Well, by finish, I mean I usually finish the top. I don't always put the whole thing together. Uh, it depends on the project. Every once in a while we'll do a smaller project. Uh, you know, a quick table runner or, you know, we did a Christmas ornament. Um, we did a um, mug rug, you know, so every once in a while we'll do something a little bit smaller. But for the most part, it's these larger scale projects that we work on a little bit every week. Some people don't prefer this type of a channel where we're, you know, we're working on things like this and it takes, it takes a while to finish stuff. Some people prefer channels that are more of an instant gratification and that's okay. That's why there are so many channels available on YouTube. <laughs> um, if mine is not for you, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not offended by it. Just a reminder for those of you who are here, if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit that button right there at the bottom that says subscribe. And also, while you're down there, if you would not would be so kind as to tickle that like button, it would really appreciate it. And here on this channel, I can't actually give you a sound wave for it, so I just ask that when you do tickle that like button, you make sure to give it a little giggle, a little hee hee hee, <laughs> when you do it for me. If I could put a sound bite in for it, I totally would. Give it a little giggle when you click it. Right, moving right along now. Let's see, one, two, three. Perfect. 
these go towards the outside. I always, you, you guys have probably seen me do this a million times, but I always finger press first just to kind of get everything to lay down a little bit the way I want it to before I move it over to my ironing station right here and iron it all up. And then I, I iron between each step. That's just, that's the way I prefer to do things. It's not a requirement. You don't have to. I just, I like everything, especially when I have to nest up seams. I really like everything to lay nice and flat so that I can do that. I, I feel like it's easier to nest up a seam when everything is laying nice and flat, but that's just my preference. You do you, you know, it's your sewing room. You do what you want to do. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what works for me, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it will work for you, which is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why I don't consider myself an expert. Because an expert, in my mind, means that that's the way you do it every time. And that's not the case with cool things. You can kind of do it however you want. All right. So now the pieces are all laid in nice and flat. I can get those seams nested up. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Linda's types in chat. She said, hee hee hee. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I wish I could add a sound bite for it. I really truly do. Uh, one of these days I will try and figure out how to do that. Whether it's just me pushing a button or what, but it would be fine. Linda says, I love to sew, but I'm not good at picking colors. Linda, you know what? I'm not either. Honestly, I'm really not. So usually what I do is like I subscribe to um, Fat Quarter Shop, uh, Jordan Fabrics, and um, Missouri Star Quilt Company. And they have a tendency to give out a lot of recommendations with regards to quilt colors and patterns and things like that. Um, they kind of group things together. I know Missouri Star Quilt Company does it really well. Like they'll have... They'll give you a pre-cut bundle, whether it be a fat quarter or jelly roll or whatever, and then they'll give you solid fabrics to go along with it. Now, obviously, you can stay within the same collection, and that really makes things easy, but they like to kind of give you recommendations of other pieces that go along with it, and that's kind of what I do is I go on their websites and I let them tell me what works well because you're right. I'm not, I'm not good at that either. I'm just not, I'm not that creative. You know, they'll tell you what fabrics coordinate with it or which ones, you know, work really well together. Um, obviously, you can check with your local quilt store, too. I'm certain that they would be helpful to you with that with regards to that as well. Every quilt store I have ever been in has been amazing. They're all super helpful and knowledgeable and really willing to help as much as they can. And of course, then you also have ideas, you know, from your YouTube content creators as well. Um, they can help you pick out patterns and fabrics that go with, with each other. Here on this channel, we really don't do too many complex or um, complex patterns. I try to stick to the pretty easy and simple ones for the most part because I am, I, 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 I say I'm barely a novice when it comes to quilting. Um, I've been doing it for a few years now, I, I think five or six years now, um, but I, I don't consider myself an expert by any means or anywhere as close to it. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm barely a novice at best. Um, so we do a lot of simple stuff over here on this channel. I try to keep the pieces fairly large. I don't like them to be too small because um, I have a hard time working with small pieces. And I don't like them to be too intricate in their designs either. Now, there are paper piecing projects out there. We have done some before um, on, here on the channel that I enjoy doing every, every now and again. <laughs> Judy says, I'm not good at picking colors. I usually have my, my grandkids or my husband pick out colors. 
I, I pick bright, bold colors. Um, you know, and usually, like I said, I'll start with a pre-cut and I'll of something that I like, whether it be a layer cake or charm pack or, or uh, I do a lot of fat quarter work, a lot of fat quarter work. Um, I'll, I'll start with that and then I'll pick the coordinating colors from there or I'll ask for help picking the coordinating colors from there. Um, but usually I can pick out the, the, the patterned pieces, if you will. Usually I'm fairly decent at that. I like bright, bold colors. Uh, that's just kind of the way I roll. I don't make a lot uh, with regards to modern colors like grays. Um, I do have a black and white quilt Oops. Uh, that I've made. A couple of, and I'm making, I'm actually working on a black, white, and red one right now off camera. Um, but for the most part, that's not really my go to. My go to are usually bright neon colors or just bright colors in general as is evident by my quilt room <laughs> june says 250 thimbles what you trying to do there june Just a reminder again for you guys, uh, next week, Saturday, well, not next week, Saturday, this week, Saturday, this Saturday, the 13th, uh, we are going to be doing our Saturday After Dark Edition starting at 6.30 p.m. Central Time, and you guys are going to want to watch this one. Um, there's going to be some fun stuff happening, really fun stuff happening. It's going to be a birthday-themed um, live stream. We're going to be working on Clue 3 of our Cotton Cuts tree of life hopefully my clue three has shipped because <laughs> i don't have it yet hopefully it shows up by then um and it's going to be birthday themed and there's something that kind of goes along with birthdays you know when you think of a birthday what is it that you usually think of besides you know candles and cake and singing there's something else that goes along with birthdays and uh you know, I can come in and, and I don't want to give away too many clues just yet, but you guys are going to definitely want to check that one out. You're going to want to be part of that one. We've got something special planned. Can't tell you what it is yet. <laughs> I think Judy might be onto something there. Can't tell you what it is. <laughs> Not yet. If you're on our Facebook or our Instagram, you'll probably hear about it first. Patty says, awesome, Danny. Love surprises. Me too. <laughs> Brad Pointy says, yeah, I love those night streams. They're always a hoot. <laughs> they are fun. That is for sure. They are a lot of fun. Judy says, time for me to head, head out and get busy. She says, see you all around. No problem, Judy. We appreciate you hanging out with us this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be here for about another 45 minutes or so. Stream started late, so it's going to end a little bit late today. Today was um, the first Sunday of the month, which for those of you who are have been around the channel, you know on the first Sunday of every month, we have a virtual breakfast with our kids. We have five girls, all of it either who are either just graduated from college or still in college. Um, we have <laughs> one, two that graduated, but one that went off to graduate school. We have, so she's back in school again. We have two that are juniors this year, going to be seniors next year in college. And then we have one freshman in college, all girls. And so, they, and they're all in schools out of state. Well, no, I shouldn't say out of state, just away from home. The two of them are actually still in state, but they're far enough away from home that they, they can't really commute. Um, 
So we have a virtual breakfast with them every month just to kind of catch up and check in on everybody, make sure everybody's doing okay. It really helped a lot when the kids were freshmen, um, their freshmen and sophomore years, because it really helped with the the um, homesickness. You know, they really, they all got to come, to, especially for the five of them, because they all got to kind of come together and, you know, it, it's funny because my husband actually, uh, Mr. Wizard actually made the comment this morning when because we had four of them on for a while and then the fifth one came in later and uh, when she came in and then the five girls all started talking to each other over top of each other and, and, and my uh, Mr. Wizard looked at it and he goes, well, he goes, this is Sunday morning breakfast <laughs> because we used to do Sunday morning breakfast with them when they were kids and it was the same thing. We would all be sitting at the table and they're all just talking over each other. <laughs> it, was, it was really fun. So we, we truly enjoy doing that. Um. It's something that we, we really look forward to, and I, I think some of the, the kids do as well. <laughs> she is familiar with the Purple Ladies Society. Brad 46 says, well, your mom and I are old enough for the purple, uh, purple, late, pur purple hat lady society. Was it always purple hat? I thought at one point it was red hat, but, uh, I have heard her mention that before. She's actually not much into hats. It's, she actually hates hats for, I think it, it might just be baseball hats. I'm not sure. Cause I remember having to wear Easter hats when I was a kid. Remember those, the Easter hats that your parents used to make you wear? Yeah. My mom made me wear those too. See, I thought so. Yeah, it's a Red Hat Society. There used to be a Red Hats one. So she says she's got a cookbook. Katie says she's got a cookbook for the Red Hat Society. Yeah, I remember there being a Red Hat. But I do know there is such a thing as a purple one, too. But I remember there being a red one also. Maybe it's just dependent upon what region you're in, whether it's purple or red. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is between the two. Naomi says, sometimes I forget who's the mom and who's the daughter during the Saturday show. <laughs> well, Naomi, I'm not sure if I should take that as a compliment or an insult. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Too funny. Yeah, she's she can be a little wild and crazy sometimes. I gotta reel her in often. She's she's a little goofy that one. funny <laughs> but it's the truth though crown peach Ooh, what are we talking about somebody's talking about daiquiris Ooh, what did i miss Spice peach daiquiri sounds better. Ooh, that sounds good, yeah. Judy says wine. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, wine. Crown peach, Judy, you and I, we are one and the same. Crown peach, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Um, I do, for, for those Saturday streams, I'm usually doing um, tequila sunrise is usually what I'm drinking. Um, but every once in a while, I will slip in a uh, Pepsi and bourbon. Um, I, I'm a Pepsi girl. I'm not a Coke girl. I'm a Pepsi girl. But um, I will do a, a Pepsi and bourbon, usually an Evan Williams or a... Um, 
Uh, what have I been drinking? I've been drinking a Chicago-based uh, bourbon whiskey lately. It's called um, Clark and Sheffield, which is right by, if you're familiar with Chicago, you know that Clark and Sheffield is just down the street from Clark and Addison, which is where Wrigley Stadium is, the home of the Chicago Cubs. It's not far. So we, uh, we've been drinking a lot of that recently. But yeah, Crown is another good one. Crown is good too. Yes, Judy, I have had Tequila Rose many a times. It is not bad. I'm not a big fan of the cream liqueurs. I'm, it's just it's just not my thing. But it, it is really good. It's a really good mixer. I'm not. I don't necessarily like to drink it by itself, but I do like to use it in a mixer. I like to mix it with things. Um, I am a tequila girl the, through and through. Patron is my absolute favorite. Um, I'm, I'm a Patron girl. That is, again, I'm not, I'm not uh, sponsored or anything by any means, nor do I encourage anyone to drink in alcoholic, alcoholic beverages or in excess. Um, that's usually what I'm drinking. Spiced dark rum, yeah. That one's good too. There's four of those. And then I need one of these. And four of these. The uh, local bar just down the road from us here uh, does a special on Fridays. They do um, reduced, they do an extended happy hour. So the happy hour runs from four to seven and they have a special on um, apple crown, crown apple that they run on Fridays. That one isn't bad either. That one's pretty good. Sandra, Sandra K says, I'm the non-alcoholic drinker. And Sandra, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing. I think that's fantastic. Do you have any um, special mixed drink non-alcoholic mixed drinks that you prefer i know pina coladas are a really good one uh without the rum in them They're, they taste very good daiquiris are fantastic margaritas are really good um without alcohol in them they're still very 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 tasty um there's an apple martini um that you can have without apple uh, without uh alcohol in it that's really really good I have many, many friends who are non-alcohol drinkers for a variety of different reasons. And, and there doesn't necessarily need to be a reason. Maybe it's just not something you prefer. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Apple pie mudslides are good. Yeah, those are good too. Mm. Yum, yum, yum.
<laughs> Sandra, absolutely, 100%. It does depend on where you're, from, where you're at, though, but I will agree with you 100%. Sandra says, when I ask the cost of them, I, I just ask for water instead. <laughs> she says, I get the water. I, I can completely understand that. It does depend on where you're getting it from, though. I, I will say that. I mean, obviously, water is the least expensive option, as is soda, if you prefer a soda. Um, alcoholic beverages can be quite expensive. They can be very pricey. Especially if it's a specialty drink from a higher-end restaurant or distillery or um, any of those types of places, for sure. Um... When uh, Sherlock, Cheryl, and I were in Peoria a couple weeks ago, we stopped at a distillery and we ha we partaked in a a beverage, just one, because it was a specialty whiskey bourbon mixture. Um, very high end, very bougie, if you will. Um, very very good drink though, but it was very expensive. I think it was like ten or twelve dollars for the drink, which is just it, that's that's a little excessive. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was a special occasion. It was a special place, and it was only one. <laughs> but yeah, the cost is definitely something to consider for sure. That's usually why I stay away from wines uh, in restaurants because the wines can be very, very expensive depending on um, the type of wine and the vintage. Judy says it sounds like I'm stuttering. Well, that's not good. I don't think I was stuttering. It might have been, though. I do have a little bit of a stutter every once in a while. Sorry about that. Must be a connection thing. Hopefully it comes back. My goodness, lady, it has been forever since I have seen you. I hope you are well. My goodness. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It is, I, I feel like it has been months since I've seen you. I'm sure you've been around. I just don't remember seeing you in chat. She says, listening and lurking. Brad says her YouTube is buffering. Oh boy, sounds like there's a YouTube issue going on here. Sorry about that, guys. Patty says I'm a non-alcohol drinker also. I'm the one who says you were so freaking drunk you had puke in your hair. <laughs> I don't get that bad. I don't I don't drink in excess. Nor do I encourage it. I, I do believe that some some types of alcohol do add to the flavor on things. I love cooking with it. That's one of my favorite things to do. I love cooking with whiskeys and bourbons because I love the flavor that it brings out. Um, same thing with tequilas. I love making tequila and lime. Uh, those I make a lot of things with those two. They're really good. But I can 100% understand why it's not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> this way. All right. 
move another pretty star. Couldn't count there for a second. We need four of these blue pieces of fabric for every star. So I'm just getting the four matching blue fabrics. So we need one of the white fabrics for each star. That's the center. Let's put these over here for a minute. So do one, two, three, four, and then the square in the middle. And then we do one like that, one like that, and then we need to go up and down like that. There we go. This one looks really nice. I like these fabrics. So you can really see it on the camera because you can't see the fabrics as much. So it's not, it's much easier for you guys to see the stars than it is for me being up close here. Brett Ford says, I cook bake with it a lot more than I drink. Like RC apple and my pie crust. Uh, uh, RC or CR? Uh, Kahlua in my chocolate cake. Peach schnapps in my orange cake. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, yeah. Sandra K says she's going back to long, long arming and lurking. No problem, Sandra. We appreciate you being here. Not a problem. Royal Crown. Oh, gotcha. I think it's Crown Royal, isn't it? Same thing. Oh, is oh that's RC as an RC Cola. Is that what you're talking about? I think that's what you're. I, I assumed we were still talking uh, liquor. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mr. Wizard loves RC Cola. That's one of his favorites. He says that's the best regular cola of all of them. Shirley says, yes, I'm doing good. Thanks. Squirrels invaded my brain and my body is trying to catch them. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> That's funny, Shirley. That's really funny. I have that happen to me quite often. Usually I joke that I saw something shiny. <laughs>
are just making a bunch of these uh, star pattern for our houses. Brad says, Royal Crown has come out with a blackberry whiskey. Haven't tried that yet. Ooh, I, that does sound yummy. Blackberry does sound yummy. These are actually laying pretty flat when I'm finger pressing them, so I don't think I'm going to hard press them anymore. Sorry, my phone just like spammed at me, so I'm just trying to figure out what is what all the spam wing was about. Nothing too important. Okay. Normally I press in between, but these are actually laying pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just move forward with them. Like Naomi is trying to start a heist. If you are interested in joining in, you can do exclamation point heist space and then the amount of thimbles you're willing to risk in chat. The computer will randomly select a winner after, I think, two minutes. I think it's a two minute thing. It's a couple minutes. I know it's, it's like either two or three minutes. I don't remember the exact number. Gives you a chance to win some extra thimbles. Of course, the slots machine is there as well. I've seen quite a few of you playing the slots machines. Game. Earn some extra thimbles. You can trade those in for prizes if you are so inclined to do so. You can do exclamation point prizes in chat. It'll give you a listing of all the prizes available to choose from. They are mailed out once a quarter, not once a quarter, I'm sorry, once a month. Once a month, I put them all together and mail them out. guys I don't think you guys can hear the music anymore but it's like it's jamming it's kind of bouncy today I like it I like having loud bouncy music in my quilt room I don't know why it's just a thing not everybody that enjoys it but I do um, I like to be kind of bouncing around there we go. all right we are just moving right along we need to make 12, I think. Maybe 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I was right. 12. We need to make 12 of these. I don't know how many we've made so far. I really haven't been keeping count. 
We'll just make them until we don't have any more pieces left. <laughs> I do believe I made extra um, hourglasses, though. I think there's extra ones in there than what we actually need. I could be wrong. Looks like, according to this thing here, we need three more. Not sure how accurate that is, but... Congratulations, Judy, on winning that uh, heist. We like to play a lot of games here on this particular channel. We just, we, get, we like to have fun. That's what we like to do here on this channel. It's not just about sewing. It's not just about quilting. It's not just about hanging out with friends. We just like to have fun. And so I try to incorporate as many different things into the channel as I can that are just fun. You know, everybody loves a little bit of gambling. And, and it, there's absolutely no real money that ex ever exchanges hands. So it's not like you actually lose anything ever. And if you run out of thimbles, we can give you more. It's not about how many thimbles you do or don't have. It's more about just having some there to play with and have a little bit of fun. That is what this channel is all about. Every channel is different. Every channel has their own little niche that they like to focus on. Um, here on this channel, that's what we focus on. It's having fun. And you know, if we make something in the process, that works too. <laughs> that's that's usually the added bonus it's, the fun is not the added bonus the the project is the added bonus here on this channel i absolutely love hanging out with you guys every sunday and at least one saturday a month um i, I it, it's truly a joy for me i appreciate everybody that watches the channel live and and those that watch the channel as a replay as well i appreciate every single one of you hi fern good morning it's been a minute since i've seen you on the channel i know i've seen you on our facebook group quite a bit but i don't know that i've seen you well, I take that back. I think you were there last weekend, so sorry about that. Um, but it's good to see you this morning. Welcome back. <laughs> Fern, I just saw your message that says, hello, everyone. I'm late. Ah, never late. It's the wonderful thing about YouTube. It's just because you don't catch the live stream doesn't mean you can't still watch it. At least on our channel. Some channels don't don't um, post their live streams. It's just one of the things that they do or don't do. Uh, I post everything. That is what I do. Kind of a quiet weekend. Probably a lot of people out enjoying the nicer weather. Hopefully they have nicer weather. And we started a little bit late too. And that always seems to confuse some people. Um, they always think that I don't have a stream just because I'm not there at 1030. First Sunday of every month we run a little bit late because we do a virtual breakfast with our kids. So our stream runs about half an hour later than normal. Judy says, well, now I need to go. See you all next time. Have a great weekend. And Danny, I guess I will try and be bring the warmer weather up next week. Well, I would appreciate it, Judy. I really would. It would be it would be most grateful. 
Judy, you have an awesome weekend. Safe travels to you. Thanks so much for joining us. Hopefully you're able to catch us next weekend, Saturday, for our Saturday After Dark edition. Uh, it's going to be a big one. So, uh, I mean, I can't really say too much. But it's definitely going to be a birthday-themed party for sure. So make sure you're hanging out. Uh, try and make sure you get some time to spend with us. You're not going to want to miss it. So she's going to try and sneak in. All right. Mark your calendars, friends. This Saturday, the 13th, 6.30 p.m. Central Time is our After Dark Edition. We'll be working on Clue 3. It's going to be a birthday-themed uh, stream. And there's going to be something going on that has to do with birthdays. Can't say much more than that just yet. But if you're on our Facebook or Instagram, you'll hear about it. Fern says, I love your After Dark streams. Well, thank you, Fern. Make sure you check this one out. This is definitely one you're not going to want to miss. And if any of you have been on the channel long enough, you know that when I say certain things, like you don't want to miss this one, there's a reason for it. I can't say what it is. <laughs> but I usually say the same thing every time it happens. So... I mean, obviously, I don't, I don't want you guys to miss any of them, but there are certain ones that you really don't want to miss. Right and flat. Perfect. All right. I think we got three left to do. We are just about out of time, so I think I'm going to go ahead and finish these three ones off camera. Um... I'd like to try and keep this project moving, so I do kind of finish up a few things off camera. This is just three extra blocks. You guys have seen me make all the star blocks, so you know how to do them. If you are making this project along with me, which I doubt because most people have made this a couple years ago, but if you are, make sure you finish up all of your star blocks, and then we're going to be putting houses together. No, next time we come back, we're going to be making stripes, so let me show you what those look like. Let me show you about the pattern and show you what the stripes are going to look like. So this is the pattern, and you see these stripes right where my finger is? See those stripes there? That's what we're going to be making the next time we come back. We're going to be making those stripe pieces. And then it's not a strip tube. I thought it would, maybe it was a strip tube. It's not. It's just stripes. And then we're going to be assembling things together. So my guess is we're going to put the stars up to the stripes, and then we're going to attach the roofs to it. And then that will be the start of the block. Then we'll be adding sashing, and then we'll be done. So I can't imagine that we won't finish this one probably by the end of the summer. Um, and I'm really excited for it because I love seeing this. I was kind of hoping that we might finish it by 4th of July, but I'm not sure that that's really going to happen. We're, we're sure going to give it a go. We're going to give it our best effort to try and make it there. Is that an Ohio star I'm working on? Fern, I'm not really sure. Maybe it is. Is that what this is, particular star is called? I'm not sure. It is part of this project called Home Sweet Home. It was part of the Fat Quarter Shop Liberty Box from 2022. I know I'm a little behind. Um, but you know, I, I'm not sure what type of a star that is specifically, but, uh, it looks really cool. 
They just refer to it as a star unit in the pattern, so I'm not really sure. Maybe it's an Ohio star. I'm not sure. Last time the special word was green. That is sh that is for sure. Uh, this year, this week's, uh, next week's special word. I'm not sure what that word will be just yet. You'll have to wait and find out. But there is something else happening that's really exciting. So, all right, friends. Well, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the stream here for today. Uh, I've got a couple of things that I need to finish up here at home anyway, and um. I'm not going to try and start the block halfway through and end the stream halfway through. So we're just, I'm going to go ahead and finish up these last three stars off stream. As I mentioned before, we do have some merch on the channel. Uh, this one is a really cool coffee mug. It's got a colored handle and a colored interior. You can pick which color you want. There's four or five colors to choose from. Uh, I would wait until tomorrow if you're interested in purchasing this because I am going to change the design up a little bit. Instead of having the design here in the center, I'm going to actually put it on the two sides so then that way when you're holding your mug, you can see it a little bit better. I When I designed it initially, I didn't really think about it. Um, I just kind of did what the system told me to do. And now that I've actually got one, I think I'm going to change the design up a little bit. There's also some tank tops, some t-shirts. Uh, there might be a backpack available. I can't remember anymore. If you're interested, obviously there is no requirement to purchase anything at all ever, but if you're interested in doing so, there's a link in the description box down below that says something about tips or um, donations. Use that link that will give you to, to my tip page. And then from there, there's a page there that says, there's a button there that says merchandise and you can click on that. I will get an actual link for the merchandise page um, here in the next, next little while as soon as I remember. <laughs> uh, also, if you prefer, if you don't want to purchase anything merchandise wise, but you still want to leave a tip for the channel, you can do that a monetary tip. You can do that as well. Again, I don't normally ask for these types of things, but somebody brought them up last week. Uh, and so I thought I would just remind everybody about them again. You probably won't hear anything about them again for a really long time because <laughs> I forget that they're even there. Um, but there they are in case you're interested. Not re definitely not required, but always appreciated uh, if you choose to. Uh, what else was I going to tell you about? Oh, yes. Saturday stream. Next week, Saturday stream. Clue three of our Cotton Cuts Tree of Life. Hopefully I get mine in the mail. Otherwise, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, but clue three. It's also birthday themed. Something else is going on that you're not going to want to miss. Uh, so make sure you turn, tune in uh, next on Saturday, 6.30 p.m. Central Time. I can't talk today. 6.30 p.m. Central Time, Saturday, the 13th of April. Then we will do our live stream on the 14th of April, our Sunday morning stream. I forget what we're doing. <laughs> we're doing something. We're doing a project. I just don't know which one. Um, so there, there you go. Uh, as always, if you guys need to get a hold of me for anything, you have some ideas on the channel, you have questions, uh, you want my help with something, whatever it is, you can always send me an email. It's so not an expert at gmail.com. I try to check them every day sometimes multiple times a day, <laughs> if you ever are interested in contacting me for anything. Um, otherwise, obviously, you can leave a message in chat. You can uh, send me a, a, a DM on Instagram. Um, I try to get to them as much as I can. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like there's something else I wanted to tell you guys about today, and for the life of me, I cannot remember what it is. <laughs> I do not know. Keep an eye on our Facebook and our Instagram because whatever it is, if I remember it, I will post it there. Uh, uh, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. You have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys again on Saturday. Don't forget to buy your bottle of wine or, you know, your your water or whatever beverage of choice you choose so that we can make sure to play the drinking game again on Saturday. All right, guys. I will see you again soon. Have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, see you Saturday. Bye-bye. When your world feels like it's crumbling now, just know that I'll be around. I'll always be there to catch you when you're falling. I know that you've been feeling down every time that you call out.